try to demonstrate the importance of using two hands and patience in the reduction of an inguinal hernia. So I've made a model here with a balloon representing the intestines. Here we have the internal inguinal ring and the external ring. And if it's a boy, the contents are protruding into the scrotum. And a girl, you may just notice the bulge within the inguinal canal. I think one easy mistake to make is to simply take your finger and try to push on the bulge that's in the scrotum. And you can see that if you just simply try to push the air out, it's going to expand within the inguinal canal and will get stuck against the internal ring and you won't be able to reduce. On the other hand, if with your second hand, you actually put a little counter pressure along the inguinal canal to start, you milk the contents into the scrotum a bit, and then gently and patiently squeeze from the bottom, gently squeezing, and you can see that with that counter traction, you're able to reduce the contents back into the abdomen and then successfully reduce your hernia.